guys, Alexandra here again. I am back for another tutorial for a website builder tool. This time Jimdo, we are going to review its pros and cons and just have a look at how the tool works in general compared to other tools. To create a website, you can do this for free, but you will get a Jimdo subdomain. They are cheapest plan that you can actually use with more advanced features is starting at 9 euros per month and it goes up to 39 euros which is quite a decent price and this is just for a simple website you've also got the separate pricing for online store options which usually require more storage and editing features so you won't be able to access this for free to get started with creating a website just click on new website or you will be redirected automatically here if you're just creating that website right now. Then you're going to choose what type of website you want to create. In this case, a simple website with no coding. I am creating it for myself. And you can just choose a bunch of bowls from here or just skip this entire process and do everything from scratch. But I do recommend going through these because it helps you just get the theme right and start from somewhere. Let's create this for IT services. And of course, I'm going to choose a style that is suited for my type of service. You will actually get different colors here depending on the purpose you've chosen before. I am opting for this one, choosing a scheme like this. And from here, straight away, you can go on and select the pages that you want. Make sure you have all of them selected for some reason, but I think it's limited to just starting with less pages. You can only choose three right away, but of course you can always add them later on. And then I'm going to have two samples here, which I can choose from again. So you don't start this from nothing. I am skipping the domain part for now and we are straight in the editor. Now, what you're going to see is that everything is very intuitive to you. Now, you have right away this list of things that you can do in a specific order. This is perfect for any beginner and you will honestly see all of the details like now is the time to pick your font and change your layout and so on. You can always just hide all of these by clicking here on the X and just toggle them whenever you need them again. Now this is similar to what most other website builder tools provide for this very reason that a lot of beginners are going to use this because these tools are usually what you would turn to if you have a small business and don't want to invest too much or if you want to have full control of how your website looks. For example, I personally would opt for this type of service because I do want to keep it updated at all times. So that's just one reason why you would want to turn to a service like this. You will see the web page as it's essentially going to look like. And you have every single block in order. For example, this header on my homepage can be edited by simply going to block design. And from here you have simple options. You just need to test them out to see exactly how these work and if you want to make certain adjustments according to your own needs. I'm actually going to go back here and opt for a transparent navigation and I want to hide my logo and this text here. Now right away after this block here you can add a new one or you can just go below an existing one and add whatever you wish according to your needs. For example, you might want just simple text and an image on the right. You will notice that these elements are very, very simple to use. Like if you want to edit this image, just click on it and you will have all of the options above from choosing an image, which you can upload on your own or use from their own stock photos, which are honestly only the ones you will find on Unsplash, which is free to use anyway. So I am changing up this image a bit and of course you've got filters so you can edit all of these so they have the same theme and you can even zoom in a bit just decide how you want it to be and if you double click on it you can grab it and move them around as you wish. In this case it's important to actually have quality stock photos 
And then again, if you want to edit this text, just double click on it, select this and just change it right away. And again, if you go to block design, you will have your options from here to just change up maybe the background a bit, you know, delete some text, add the text, even add a secondary button. You might want this if you have, for example, a button leading to just information and another one for signing up, which I'm just going to add this here. So you can kind of get an idea how this works. And of course, there's like a lot of similar blocks you just need to test out. I'd recommend going for this list here so you can kind of decide what type of block you need. Let's say you want a slideshow to display maybe some food that you have in your restaurant or just websites that you've created and want to display their design. Just double click on it, add item. I am opting for a services image, but the issue I've had with this is that honestly, there's no search option. So you have to look through them manually. So just go to Unsplash, the website, save them on your computer and then upload them again here. Now I did notice this editor is a bit limited. For instance, in this case, it's kind of hard to figure out how I can add, instead of this block here, another one on the left or right side. And you will probably have to just go again to text and search for a double column, one like this. And then when I delete, let's say this specific section, you know, it's gone. So it's very hard to actually figure out how to put it back in place. So some of these things are hard to figure out. You have the undo button at all times. I do recommend just testing out all of these editing options beforehand because you'll notice things like if you duplicate this, you can just always go on and delete it. To add, for instance, another element here, you're just going to go to duplicate and just duplicate it as many times as you want. And you'll have lots of columns like this, which you can drag and drop around so it's not that difficult to use once you figured it out. Let's have a look at another type of block that might be a bit more difficult. Let's say the contact form since this is going to be mandatory for any website. Okay, so I have this one with the map and let's just say that I'm going to add here your business address. Obviously change the title to something like contact us. You can add some text here. Just delete the contact form, delete the map as you wish. We're just going to temporarily remove the map. The problem with this contact form is that there aren't many options you can opt for to maybe have less information to fill in. You can just edit this, for example, but you can't edit the basics here. Of course, you do have your um, design options, but these are just limited strictly to the design and not to the elements of the list. So I am going to say that this is indeed limited. The thing I like about Jimdo and the reason I decided to actually have this brief review of it is that it's very easy to just switch between the pages you want to edit. So in this case, it's easy for anyone in your team. They don't have to have any code skills or technical knowledge, it's very easy to just come here, you know, double click to change some text, edit it, do whatever you want, change the images, even add new type of content. This is really all about Jimdo. I'm going to be honest and tell you that this is a very simple tool. It's really just for beginners. I do recommend that you test out some multiple preferences when you first start creating your website so that you will get a look at different template opportunities. Now, I'm not going to use this tool. It is better than, you know, that boring editor you have with the free version of WordPress because it does give you a few more options when it comes to just editing certain elements. But again, it is very basic. So it's really just a choice for you if you want something to quickly build up a starting website. If you have any questions, I usually recommend that you go to their customer support team to ask them. That will save you a lot of time. As always, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, comment, and see you the next time. Have a wonderful day and take care.